Hello, I'm here on shade seas on this busy, windy, sunny Tuesday afternoon. I've been in Wavertree again, leafleting, getting a good response. You'll have to excuse me. Uh, the wind's really getting up and trying to get out of its way, but it's catching me wherever I go. So bear with me. Further to yesterday's video, what do we do then regarding further cultural change? Do we just roll over and accept it, say nothing, and in 10, 15 plus years, our city has then changed from a predominantly scouse one to an unfamiliar and welcoming one, one we don't recognise, one we don't remember we were born into. Do we just accept that we must go the way? Wembley and the Borough of Brent has gone, all those that travel to watch heaven, uh, all of will play at Wembley will be only too familiar what has happened to that town, Wembley and the Borough of Brent. Right, so do we just accept that this is our fate, our future? We have to just roll over and accept cultural change. Well, I don't see why we should, given the vast majority of the people in this city, I believe, are opposed to it. Also, we have seen what's happened to London, cultural change-wise, with disastrous consequences. Given that, why should we go the same way? Why should our unique Scouse character traditions and cultural identity be changed into something completely different? just to accommodate new arrivals and the customs, ways, beliefs, traditions they bring with them. Why should we accept that? Well, exactly, we shouldn't accept it, right? If there was a referendum, let's just say a referendum or some sort of vote in the city, said in the vast majority of people voted for fear the cultural change, then there you go. I'd put away my phone, stop doing my videos and get on with my life, but I don't believe such a referendum vote is ever going to happen and I don't believe the good people of this city are going to vote unanimously for fear the cultural change. Why would they when they've watched what's happened to other major towns and cities that have undergone cultural change? Has it been uh, for the good of those towns and cities? Well, the answer is no. Of course it, it, ha it hasn't been. Right, look at London now. It's no longer a Cockney city in the true sense of the word, yet it's there in name, like Liverpool will be, but if cultural change continues, it's going to lose its unique character, our customs and traditions. So, as I say, bear with me with the busker lady in the background. Just enjoy it while you listen to Joe Owens. It's a real windy day, it's a, it's, it's a nice sunny day, but uh, that wind's blew up wrong, but anyway. So, further as I say to yesterday's video, what do we do? Do we just roll over and accept that cultural change is inevitable and we've just got to accept it? Our city will be changed, all our ways, customs, traditions will be taken from us and replaced by those of the new arrivals. I don't see one reason why we should accept something like that. It's horrendous when you think long term what this means to our city and the Scouse legacy rightfully belonging to our children, grandchildren and all those wonderful Scouses yet to be born. Why should we give everything up that our forefathers Sacrifice, fought and died for. Well, exactly, we're not going to. Not while you've got your orange in your corner. I'm here for you, the good people of this city. I have watched what cultural change has done to other major towns and cities where mistrust, division and parallel lives is the order of the day. That's how people live their lives. Parallel lives. Do we want that in our city? Well, the answer is no. We must oppose it. The forthcoming general election. As you know, Joe Owens is standing in the constituency of Waverty. I'll be opposing Paula Barker. She's a cultural changer. She's prepared the cultural change. Or will remain silent and say nothing. So she may as well be. So. 
given that the good people of Waverley and beyond have a choice to vote for a candidate they know opposes further cultural change of our glorious city. Because if we don't, ladies and gentlemen, what we hold so dear, what we treasure will be taken from us. It will be changed. The new arrivals have no intentions whatsoever of embracing the Scouse fam. Right? They're here to impose their ways, beliefs and values over our Scouse ways. Because that's what happens. That's what's happened in London. If I'm wrong, then someone please show me. Say no, Joe, you're wrong there. London is still a cocky city. Leicester, Birmingham. Uh, well, show me where. Where are all the cockneys? It's not left. They're a rare sight now in London, right? As with the Brummie and as with many other unique. What the way for it? Unique towns and cities and their people, like us Scousers and whatever. London has been changed into something completely different, and that's due to cultural change. We cannot allow that to happen to our glorious city. This is our city. It belongs to us, our children, grandchildren, and all those wonderful Scousers yet to be born. We cannot throw it away. We cannot throw their legacy away. Right, we are here safeguarding it for them because that's what's going to happen. That's what's happened to other towns and cities that underwent cultural change. And once again, like you keep saying, if I'm wrong, then show me where I'm wrong. So what do we do, you politicians? Are you not going to discuss this? You're not going to bring this issue up on social media before the general election, before people cast their votes? Or are you just going to ignore it and just say, right, you're accepting it and that's that? At least have the decency, at least have the courage to nail your colours to the mat and say, well, we're not going to do nothing about it and to hell with it. Like Joe Owens says, I've nailed my colours to the mat where I stand. Right. You need to do the same before the general election so the people of this city at least know what they're voting for. Right. At least have the decency, the honesty to do that. Once again, the ball is in your court. And remember, no to cultural change. Yes to Scouse pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and proud. Okay, thank you.